Hi guys, let me show you a little secret that I made, which is very very interesting to look at. Here, tada! It lights up an LED. Isn't it exciting? Well, you might say no, but I would say yes. If you take into account that this IC is, as you can see probably, LM3115P, which is a comparator, which inside looks something like this. Inside the chip there is comparator itself with an output transistor which has both of its collector and emitter accessible on the outside, collector being pin 7 and emitter being pin 1. Of course the supply is pretty much usual, positive supply pin 8, ground pin 4, and this and this one is like 2 and 3 or 3 and 2, I can't remember correctly. Well, bizarre thing is about that circuit, that it lights up an LED. Now let's take a look at the setup here. Well, I have this chip. You can see positive going to the positive of the power supply, pin 4 goes to ground, usual stuff, then bizarre stuff happens. Pin 7 goes through a resistor to anode of the LED, cathode goes to ground and it lights up. Here is what different. If you take a look at this, and essentially draw a resistor here, like that, all right? And it goes to common, which pin 4 is connected to as well. Does it make any sense here? Well, I doubt it will make any sense because I'm effectively sourcing current into LED, like that. But where the hell the current will flow through, will flow from? If you have a collector hooked up like that, and for some bizarre reason it sources current, how the hell that can happen? Well, the hell that that can happen is called a fake IC, which I bought off of eBay. So there are very little, like one part per million chance that you saw my previous video that is called mailbag, num mailbag number three bunch of goodies and there I mentioned that I purchased five uh, comparators this comparators bizarre little comparators and after searching for uh, and I actually put them into uh, a circuit like this an oscillator essentially LC oscillator using LM3001 that's an indu for inductance and capacitance meter I will eventually make a video about the device it's very nice but later so I put it there and it didn't work I was blaming myself, but there actually no need for me to blame myself, because I'm not guilty. Well, this chip has been the fake one. And I actually stumbled across a topic on the EV blog forum, which mentioned that another fellow bought this IC off of eBay, and actually encountered them to be, have the same behavior as LM358 has. I thought, huh, <laughs> that's interesting. So now I'm pretty much sure that this is indeed LM358 die inside of the package which is marked LM311P. So it's essentially a dual op amp in, in this package and not a comparator. Well, if you go and draw a schematic for this circuit, take into account that this is a dual open, it makes perfect sense. Here, you can see the package, pin 8 being supply, oh, excuse me, 
7 being the output, 6 being the inverting input, 5 being the non-inverting input. The op amp inside looks like this. All right. Positive goes here, negative supply goes to 4. So you have your pin 8 on power supply, you have a 4 on common. You pull pin 6 low through a resistor, which I forgot to mention here. 22k resistor from pin 6 to ground shouldn't do a thing on the original circuit, but it does here. If I go and take it off, the LED goes off because I am not pulling inverting input of an op amp anymore. So if I'm pulling inverting input down, low, the input will go high and thus it can really source current. Under sourced current, I mean that it's going to be pushing it this way. All right. Because having this kind of schematic which is pin 1, which is emitter of the output transistor hooked to pin 4 and goes to ground, that essentially turns this IC into IC, which has a so-called open collector output, which uh, in order to work properly, must you must include pull-up resistor, which is what this 1K R6 is, it pulls the collector high, because uh, this open collector on itself can either can either be floating output or output brought low it can be high so that's what this thing is about and why this is possible with lm358 because lm358 has a so-called totem pole output stage which looks like this all right it's two complementary cascades this goes to pin 4, this goes to pin 8, and here is your output, pin 7. So as you can see, if this transistor is on, the output will be high. You can see current will be flowing like that, no problems. If the output is brought low, current can be essentially synced by this transistor and can be sourced by this transistor. But in, in this situation, if you have your pin 1 on ground, you cannot source current by any means. You can only sync it. E.g. current flow can flow only this way. But not this way. It's not happening. So, long story short, beware of fake ICs because they might they might uh, make you look that you're a, they make you think that you're a pathetic little rookie which fails at building a very simple circuit but it's actually it's it can be not your fault but the fault of this chip being the fake one actually i'm not gonna like throw these chips away because they are dual op amps i can make uh, implication for them no problem but the thing is it's not what I ordered oops thanks for watching see ya